Welcome to your final session of the Zero NIC program. Congratulations on all that you've learned, all the work that you've done, and all the changes that you've accomplished in the past several weeks. At the end of today, you will take your last puff from your vaping device for good. Tomorrow, you will be free from vaping, free from nicotine, and free from smoking forever. Now you can begin to enjoy the satisfaction that comes from a job well done. While it may seem like you're nearing the end of a journey, it might actually be more accurate to say you're just beginning a wonderful new venture. You're heading in a new direction on a path where the air is fresher, where you can breathe deeply and take oxygen into your system. You'll know when you arrive at that state when you can identify the following three conditions in yourself. First, you consciously value your freedom in your life and you don't take it for granted. Second, you're aware of and enjoy the increase in self-esteem and self-respect which you've gained as a result of conquering an addiction. Third and finally, you're happy to be free of feeling guilty about damaging your body. When you reach that point of total freedom, you will have switched off all feeling for smoking and nicotine. Now this is a goal worth working for. Congratulations, you're a non-smoker, non-vapor, and you are nicotine free. We've enjoyed making this journey to Zero Nick with you. You probably won't be aware of the significance of what you've accomplished for several years. It is amazing. Thank you for your commitment, perseverance, and willingness to invest in yourself. Many of the concepts and tools presented in this program are applicable to more than just the process of quitting smoking. We encourage you to integrate into your daily life everything that contributes to your health, confidence, happiness, and overall well-being. Enjoy your freedom. Enjoy your journey. Above all, know that you now have the power to be comfortable and confident as a nicotine-free non-smoker for good. And have a wonderful, smoke-free, vape-free, nicotine-free life. Scene 17, take one. Mark. Action. Confined space. Employees involved in... Conf Let's just go ahead and start that again. Can you roll it back just a second? Confined space. Employees involved in confined space operations face unique dangers, such as low oxygen levels, buildup of toxic gases, flammable atmospheres, and other recognized hazardous conditions. There are both permit-required and non-permit-required confined spaces located within the Constellium facilities. Before entry into any permit-required confined space, the atmosphere must be something that went way too fast. Is it not working? Yeah, it went. It zoomed by that whole half a paragraph. The. Hey, can you do it with your finger? I mean, we don't seem to mess up when you do that. Yeah, get in the way. It, it's if been you're working. not in the way, I mean, we. All right, let's go. I'm just saying. <clears throat> Start from the beginning. From the top. Confined space. Employees involved in confined space operations. <clears throat> confined space. Employees involved in confined space operations face unique dangers. There are both permit required and non permit required confined spaces located within the Constellium facilities. Before entry into any permit required confined space, the atmosphere must be verified and permit completed by your contract administrator. The contract administrator and his or her designee shall notify the protective services group that a confined space entry is being initiated. This will ensure they are aware of the location of entry in the event rescue is needed. The confined space procedures will be provided by the Constellium supervisor responsible for the job and a calibrated atmospheric monitor will be made available to you. <clears throat> 